Hi everyone, it's Chris at Synth Studio here with one more product review. This is the first video in a series where I talk about the Roland Verse Lab accessories that I can't live without. For this first accessory, this is an angled stand. Let me show it to you here. This is my Verse Lab. As you can see, it's not plugged in. That's because I put a battery inside it. If you're interested in that, then check out the video linked up in the corner. For this video, we're going to focus on the stand, which is already installed on the underside of my Verse Lab. It's this little tiny thing right here. Let me just show you quickly what it does. When I'm sitting at sort of a normal sized or height table in a normal height chair, this seems to be a really nice middle range point. As you can see, I have the black version. I got the black version because I painted the case of my Verse Lab black. But before I did that, I actually had the silver version. All the parts are solid aluminum. There are no sharp edges. And then you get this nice rubberized end here. When you don't have the feet open, you get these nice soft pads. And it works great if I tip up. My Verse Lab, you can see the directionality of it, that it is angling down. The thing I like about them so much is that uh, they do just stay very flush with the Verse Lab. It, it adds very minimal weight and bulk. So what you're seeing here is the Amazon listing. The rating is really good. The brand is called Tryyards. It's made for laptops. So as you can see here, it's nine and a half inches wide and about an inch and a half deep, but only 0.2 inches thick. It really does improve the ergonomics. So very affordable at $13. Let me just switch back here and I'll show you just kind of the, the span that it has. So the Verse Lab is obviously a pretty wide box. I have never found an issue where the Verse Lab is kind of rocking to one side because of the feet being up. So I don't think that you'll have that issue either. It does come with a high quality adhesive already applied to the back. So it's very quick and easy to install. Um, the adhesive is not permanent either. If you just heat it up a little with a blow dryer or something, it'll come right off. I think for the price, this product is a uniquely perfect fit for the Verse Lab. I'm keeping it installed on my Verse Lab. I love this thing. It just works. I've had it on for almost a year. So I've really tried a lot of different scenarios with it on, and I'm really happy to recommend this stand. I think that if you're looking for something that's a semi-permanent installation like this, that's what I was looking for, then I think this is the best product available for it. That being said, there are a few other things that I tried, and if you can't get a hold of this or it's out of stock, here are another few options that I'll show you. This product here called the LightPad Metal Stand. This is a really affordable solution, and really it's a very versatile solution. I use this also for my MPC-1, and I've also used it for my Polyend Tracker. It fits those really well. And it's got a bunch of angles. That's the nice thing about this product is you get all these angles. If you're looking for a solution that you that isn't permanently attached to your Verse Lab or that you can use across different um, groove boxes, this is a pretty good solution. It's really versatile. It's super light. It folds flat so you can fit it into almost any bag along with any groove box. That being said, personally, I prefer that semi-permanent solution, even though there's fewer angles. In a studio context, this riser stand has been really useful. Uh, it's super solidly built. I'm not going to go get mine, but you can see the pictures of it. It gives you this really great, um, super wide range of adjustability. It requires an Allen key to adjust at the hinges. And so it's not really something you'd take out out of the house, I don't think, or out of the studio. I, I wouldn't personally. You can see it folds up a bit, but it's not perfectly flat. But in the studio, this is a really great solution. Now I'm gonna show you one last item that I returned. I did not like this. I found it really fussy to use. When you look at those little, the really tiny legs that drop into the open slots, 
those things are just they're just kind of flopping around you know with the whole thing folding up and blah 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 it just kind of felt too hard to use not worth the hassle i would encourage you to stay away from those types of stands personally for my particular use case i'm almost always have my verse lab on a table in front of me i don't I don't need tons of adjustability and, and all that. I guess the other part of this is that you're always setting this whole thing up. Like, I really like the simplicity of having just one thing connected already to the verse lab. I mean, that's why I put a battery inside mine. Yeah, it was a huge hassle. Yes, I almost bricked it. <laughs> um, but was it worth it? Yes, to me. Like, because now... My experience of using the Verse Lab is I literally like all I have to have is headphones and I don't have any other cables. To me, that's kind of the holy grail of Groovebox setups, especially if you like being portable. I definitely recommend grabbing a set of these if you're going to put an angle stand of any kind onto your Verse Lab. They seem to perpetually be on sale. I like that the set includes. Uh, clear ones and black ones because it can just match whatever groove box you're working on so there's lots of different sizes in the set you can't go wrong with a set of these feet i'll show you where they're installed on my verse lab you can see on the front here i've actually put uh, two and let me go up so you can see a bit of the detail there so they're pretty high profile they're definitely stronger or kind of thicker than the ones that come on the verse lab so and i peeled those off i just happened to put two i don't know why i did that you don't need to just one in each corner but these really help because when you're like doing this angling thing like this you got your stand up and you're creating this angle and so it's nice to get these right towards the front like i've got them here because then they'll contact the surface um, when you've got the stand tilted at an angle like that and it does really work and to be honest like um, I think I have a MC 101 as well and the little feet that come on it are they're the same as that the ones that come on the verse lab they're really thin and kind of foamy so I I kind of think you know especially for a thing where you're finger drumming you improve the feel of the box but then also um these rubber feet are a little bit stickier which i really like because it it really prevents the box from sliding around i'm really curious what do you do now are you using the crema cafe stands or have you are you using a pile of books um is it is the ergonomics of using your groove boxes not a problem for you? I would love to hear from you in the comments. So that's it for this video. All the links to the products are in the description. I might earn an affiliate commission if you use those links, but it doesn't cost you any extra and it gives you a chance to support this channel. So stay tuned for the rest of the accessories that I use for my Roland Verse Lab. I've done a lot of trial and error. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thanks for watching.